How is that being a good friend? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Renee Rowena back at it with another video. Today's topic will be 10 signs your friends are fake or jealous of you. Number one, doesn't seem excited when you tell them good news. Oh, you know, I got that job I applied for. Oh, okay. I got accepted at Angie's University. Oh, really? Oh my God, I'm pregnant. Oh my God, I'm pregnant. Oh, you are? That's, that's, that's good. Like, where's the love? Where's the excitement? I'm your friend. Celebrate with me. Number two, he or she sees you as competition. First of all, if he or she is your friend, they wouldn't be competing with you. They should be there for you, uplift you, support you. You know what I mean? Number three, never support your goals. I wanna be a teacher. I want to pave the way for young people. You know, set an example. Girl, <laughs> you know you can't be a teacher. <laughs> Yo, fam. I've been putting some thought into this. I'm going to start my own clothing line one day. You know that's not going to happen, right? Keep dreaming. <laughs> Keep dreaming. <laughs> this one goes for me because... When I told people that I was going to start a YouTube channel, people looked down on me and they told me that, nah... Mm -mm. Number four, talks down on you like a joke, especially when they're around other people. Now these one are the shapeshifters. I hate people whose personality changes around other people. Just be real. Like if you're gonna be nice to me when it's just you and me, and then switch up on me when we're around other people, you're fake. Number five, he or she befriends your enemies like i don't mess with people who messes with people that i don't mess with you feel me especially if he or she constantly talks bad about other people you know what i mean like what makes you think that he or she won't talk bad about you six he or she is jealous of you. You know when you and your girlfriend may be going out and she's already dressed and as soon as you get dressed and she sees your outfit, oh girl, you look so good, I'm gonna have to change. Sometimes you have friends that are jealous of you. You just gotta pay attention. Why you have to always dress so good? Your makeup looks so good. Why are you wearing makeup though? I'm not wearing makeup. Number seven, someone who always agree with you. Especially when you're wrong. If you're gonna be my friend, you should be uplifting me, helping me to become better. You know what I mean? If you're gonna be agreeing with my wrongdoings, then you're fake. If I look bad, let me know. If I did something wrong, point it out to me. You know what I mean? Don't agree with me. You're not supporting me by agreeing with my wrongdoings. How is that being number eight? And this is the one that pisses me off. A liar someone who lies constantly pisses me off like really pisses me off you wouldn't even imagine I can't trust a liar it makes no sense no point we're gonna be friends if I can't trust you you check number nine a friend who tells you what you want to hear and not what you need to hear and again if I'm wrong tell me i'm give wrong. me good advice push me elevate me elevate me last but not least <laughs> number 10 y'all someone who says bad things about you when they're drunk and don't laugh don't laugh don't laugh this is not a joke i'm speaking from experience y'all and i'm not saying that being drunk is a truth serum but a person is more open when they're intoxicated, okay? And they actually did a study on this, for real, for real. The tongue says what's in a person's heart when they're intoxicated, believe me. When you really think about it, when you're intoxicated, you don't think about the circumstances. You just blow it all out. You just say what's on your mind. You just pull up what's in your heart. Never trust a friend who says bad things about you when they're drunk. 
And if you have a friend that you can identify three of, at least three, at least three of these signs that I shared with you today, then I don't know. You may have a fake one in your circle. Just saying. So that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. And remember, it pays to keep your circle small. If you can relate to any of these signs that I've shared in the video, please comment down below. I'd love to know. Please give a thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.